What is going on YouTube? Lamont at large. Today we are in Akron, Ohio. And today we're going to talk very briefly about the beating death of 17-year-old Ethan Lyman. We're going to go back to June 2nd of 2022. So you had three kids that were playing basketball at a school that was helped funded by LeBron James. It's called the I Promise School, which is right on the other side of this tree line right here. You had three kids playing basketball. Deshaun Stafford, 20 years old. His brother, Tyler Stafford, 19. And their 21-year-old cousin, Donovan Jones. So these kids, they're just playing basketball. And Ethan, and I'm not sure how many of his friends, it could have been two, it could have been three. So they come with this toy, and I'm using air quotes, this toy, it's not a toy, this thing called a, some kind of a, a bead, water bead blaster, an Orbeez gun, has a couple different names, a splatter ball gun. Basically what this is, is these are little, like bead gel balls full of water and they're shot out of this gun. And let me tell you, the videos that I've seen online of people getting shot with these things, it looks like it hurts, because they do cause welts, and there were a couple videos of people bleeding, getting hit in the face and the neck with them. And there's been a viral videos on TikTok of these morons going around shooting people with these guns. So Ethan and his friends, they had this gun, and they came to the school right in front of me, right here, where, uh, Deshaun Tyler and Donovan were playing basketball and they started shooting these dudes with this water bead gun thing. Now, I'm sure when they were getting hit with this, they start running away. But when they realized that it was uh, one of these stupid water bead toy gun things, they got mad and they caught up to Ethan and his friends. I guess Ethan's friends got away, but Ethan did it and they started beating him up and Ethan falls to the ground now there is no video footage I'm sure there is but it hasn't been released to the public yet but let me tell you they beat this kid to death to death by the time the beating was over Ethan's friends had called 911 and said that their friend had just quote unquote got knocked out when paramedics arrived they found Ethan on the basketball court right where I'm gonna show you, he was lying on his back. He was bleeding from his head, his nose, his mouth, and his ears, and he had a black eye. By the time paramedics took him and took him, brought him to the hospital, he was pronounced dead. So this is the basketball court where that uh, beating occurred, that beating that resulted in Ethan Liming's death. And this is, of course, this is on the grounds of the I Promise School. Now, after uh, Ethan's parents are told about their kid dying, his body was brought to the county coroner's office for an autopsy. And in the autopsy, it shows like just massive uh, bruises to his face and his occipital bone which is, it's the bone that's at the, it's at the base of the skull. It, uh, I believe it connects to the spinal cord that was broken. And he also had a footprint on his chest. So basically what this means is that this kid was kicked and punched and stomped to death. Now, after he was killed, they eventually found out uh, the dude's names that beat him to death. So originally, Deshaun Stafford, Tyler Stafford, his brother, and Donovan Jones, originally they were charged with one count each of murder and felonious assault, right? So during the, during the court uh, proceedings, I was watching them on YouTube, and one of the uh, scumbags lawyers says that uh, their client was in fear of their life and they were simply defending themselves from somebody that was shooting at them with a quote unquote, and he used these words, a firearm. It's not a firearm, you nerd. It's a stupid, uh, I can't call it a toy gun because that thing does not look like a toy, even though it's marketed as one. 
and I don't know how these these attorneys basically got these dudes off of a murder charge but uh, not only did they get uh, off the murder charges but I thought that the prosecutor was the one that indicts people on whatever counts that they feel that they should be charged with but I guess it's the grand jury I guess you learn something new every day or at least you do in Ohio so the grand jury convened over this case, right? And it goes as follows. Now, all of the, uh, the, the murder charges, they were dropped. So they're, not, they're now not being charged with murder. So now Tyler Stafford, he's being charged with uh, felony third degree involuntary manslaughter, right? And then his brother, Tyler Stafford, he's being charged with uh, a felony third degree involuntary manslaughter as well. So Deshaun Stafford, he's being charged, excuse me, with first and third degree involuntary manslaughter and his brother's being charged with just third degree involuntary manslaughter. And their cousin, Donovan Jones, he's being charged with a misdemeanor assault, that's it. So when they are in jail, their bonds were a million dollars each 10% down cash to get out so it'd be a hundred thousand dollars now their uh, bonds were were dressed like about three or four days ago their their uh bonds were lowered down to twenty five thousand dollars for the brothers and donovan jones five thousand dollars bond so i'm pretty sure at least donovan jones is out as the recording of this video and i'm pretty sure that the uh the other two guys will be getting out very very soon so it looks like to me that bare minimum, this Donovan Jones guy, which just by the charges that were filed on him, the misdemeanor assault, he might've just pushed Ethan. Maybe he wasn't the one that was actually, you know, like stomping on him, stomping on his head or kicking him in his face. Again, I don't know if that's what happened, but to break that occipital bone, you're not punching somebody. And this wasn't a case of self-defense. It was self-defense when you maybe punch this kid out, but when he falls to the ground and you are kicking and stomping him, that's no longer self-defense. That's murder in my opinion. But uh, yeah, the father, when he was being interviewed, when he heard about them being, uh, their charges being drastically reduced, I mean, he was really at a loss for words. And you know what? Let, let me let me explain this to everybody and anybody out there. Um, you know, you got these these stupid kids online uh, doing these stupid challenges. At the end of the day, you don't know who you're messing with. So obviously, those three dudes were not the ones to be messing with. And let that be a lesson to any and everybody out there that wants to do these stupid challenges, that wants to go around shooting these stupid little guns at people. You're, you don't know who you're messing with. And unfortunately for Ethan Limey, he had to pay for that with his life. Uh, you know, to me, at the end of the day, Ethan shouldn't have been doing that. I mean, he's 17 years old, bro. That, that's like stuff that little 10 and 11 year olds do. But he shouldn't have paid for it with his life. And that basketball court right there, that is where he died. Yeah, just a, a senseless, senseless beating death. And I'm going to guess those two brothers, they might receive uh, a couple years in prison at the most. And even then, they got a lawyer, so he might be able to get them off with a self-defense case. Who knows? Who knows what happened? Um, like I said, I'm sure there's some kind of video ca uh, footage of, of what happened, but it hasn't been released. So anyways, my condolences to uh, Ethan's family. Nobody should be beat to death, especially for a stupid prank. And also, you got to learn on the other side of the argument. You can't, you can't be going around town doing stupid things like that to people, messing with people. Hey, let me tell you, I've been around for a long time. I've had people mess with me too. And, you know, part, part, of, this, part of the thing is like, hey, those guys are like, you know, F these dudes. Like, they're just coming over here like being stupid. We don't know them. But to beat him to death, I mean, they definitely deserve to go to prison. But uh, for the length of time, I don't know. I, I think uh, to me that was a, uh, a murder. But I guess I'm wrong in this case. It wasn't a murder. The grand jury decided that, uh, you know, 
that you're, you're, you might have been defending yourself by stomping some kid into the ground. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Catch up with you later. Be safe and don't mess with anybody. Leave people alone. Peace out.